Uh, madam, audible, madam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, my voice is audible, no? Ah, uh, you, uh, yes, audible, ma'am. Yes, okay, sir. Thank you, sir.
Hello, shall I start, ma'am? Yes, sir. Shall we wait or start? Oh, we can wait, ma'am. We can wait, ma'am. Okay. Because time is two fifty-eight. Two ah, more yes. minutes to two o'clock. Okay. Okay, sir.
जय चित्रा मैम हेलो मैडम फिफ्टी फोर पार्टिसिपेंट सर देर So very good afternoon to one and all. A warm welcome to all the participants for the fourth day of the webinar series as a part of completion of one year of transformative reforms under National Education Policy 2020. The rich heritage of ancient India has been a guiding light for the policy. World class institutions of ancient India such as Taksha, Vallabhi, are the set the highest standards of multidisciplinary teaching and research, and forces students and scholars from across backgrounds and countries. The ancient Indian education system produced scholars like Charaka and Susruta, Aryabhatta, Bhaskara Charya, Chanakya, Madhava, Padanchali. Panini and Tiruvalluvar and many more. They made seminal contributions to world knowledge in diverse fields such as mathematics, metallurgy, astronomy, medical science and surgery, civil engineering and architecture, shipbuilding and navigation, yoga, fine arts, chess and many more. Indian culture and philosophy had a strong influence in the world. These rich legacies of Indian knowledge system. are integrated in national education policy for the holistic education of students to develop the originality and creativity of students and encourage them to innovate with this brief info i would like to introduce the resource person of today's session professor dr k prem kumar he is the head of the department computer science and engineering he has completed his be in electronics and communication engineering at adibarasakti engineering college and master's degree in the stream of computer science and engineering at satyabhama deemed university chennai and has completed his phd in the discipline of computer science and engineering at manonmaniam sundranar university more than 20 years of teaching experience in engineering and has published more than 40 research articles in international journals and conferences this research area includes vanet and networking he has also filed and received two patents with this introductory note i would hand over the session to dr prem kumar sir to disseminate the information on indian knowledge system languages arts and culture sir you can take over the session sir uh, yes madam uh, thank you for your sweet introduction as uh, so a first i should thank to our management uh, director and principal and organizer of this uh, fourth day of uh, webinar series uh, the first year completion of uh, national education policy once again uh, good afternoon to all of you so uh, you know uh, what is uh, national education policy to transform uh, the india into uh, vibrant knowledge uh, in society and uh, a global knowledge a superpower by making a both uh, student at the school and university and our college education so the second objective of this national education policy is to promote and regulate the uh, university and college education that provides a quality education and third objective of uh, national education policy the student can choose their subject they have their interest though in their own interest right that will uh, increase the quality of education uh, this is the main three objective of national education policy uh, now uh, this is fourth session of the uh, this series uh, webinar series in uh, this fourth day of series is a national knowledge uh, system uh, indian knowledge systems languages arts and culture right so what is culture uh, so what is culture uh, that is uh, inter, uh, that is derived from the latin term that is cult or cultus that is meaning of attaining or developing or refining that is to the change the attitude of the human Right then, and worship. Uh, this is uh, this culture. And what is civilization? Civilization, uh, nothing but is that a society which has its own highly developed culture, and in way we can lead life. Right. So that means having a better way of living, and sometimes making nature bend to fulfill their need. That is that 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 fulfill the uh, the towards the uh, environment. Uh, i hope all of you understand what i am why i'm going to say 
uh, for example, Lord Basimage, right, to the the society, for example, selling selling poison. Some of the uh, some of some of the hotels uh, that are providing this uh, junk food, right? Some uh, for fast food, fast foods, then uh, salty sweet uh, sweet. But we think that is civil civilized, but it is not is civilized one. And second image, the real, really they are selling a real food, right? The vegetables and uh, fruits. But uh, we are thinking that is uncivilized. So you should know which which are all uh, civilization and which are all uncivilization, uh, right? And uh, this I hope all of you understand this image, uh, uncivilized and civilized. So in first image, right? The, they are living towards the uh, towards the natural, towards the natural environment. But we are thinking that is uncivilized. But in second image, we are, we are living actually in polluted area, we are polluted, dust, dust, dusted area. But we are thinking that is civilized, right? So we, we should know uh, which, which are all uh, uncivilization, uncivilized, or which, which are all uh, civilization and uncivilization. Uh, then what is culture and heritage, right? So, uh, you know, uh, the heritage, heritage, the traditional, uh, the quality or culture of a country that already existed. For a long time, for a long time, uh, that are having the very good importance for our country, right? That is the heritage, right? The cultural heritage includes all those parameters, the, all those aspects that have, uh, the values are transmitted from uh, one generation to another generation, or by from uh, ancestor. That is one word even right? So they are very loved and protected and maintained by them uh, with unbroken continuity, and they feel very proud of it. So very proud of that particular uh, culture and heritage. So, so uh, I am so here. I am showing the few examples uh, that it would be helpful, clarifying for the concept of heritage. So a few examples for the clarifying the concept of uh, uh, culture heritage, right? So here I am showing the Taj Mahal. This is the example of our culture heritage that is uh, that is located. In, uh, And then Swami Narayana Temple, uh, actually 12, uh, 12 temples are available in India. But here I am listing two temples, that is Gandhinagar and Gujarat and Delhi. This is another example for uh, cultural heritage. And then Red Fort, right? So all of you know, uh, that is in Delhi. And then uh, Delhi's Kudav Minar is also the example for uh, a culture uh, heritage and Mysore Palace that is in Mysore, right? Then uh, Jain Temple of Dilwara that is located in Rajasthan. Then Nizamuddin Aulia the Darga that is uh, in Delhi. Uh, that is Golden Temple uh, Amitsar that is in located in Punjab. And then Gurudwara Siskanch of Delhi. Then Sanchi Stupa, actually, this is Buddhist temple uh, that is located in Madhya Pradesh. Actually, Sanchi is a town, right, that is located in Madhya Pradesh. Then uh, India Gate. Right, this is, these are all the general characteristics of uh, culture. Uh, culture is a uh, learn, right? So we have to get we have to get something uh, from others, right? Then the Nakayar. That is culture shared by a uh, group of other people. And culture is cumulative. That is, the cumulative. The, uh, that means increasing steadily, and then uh, cultural changes, right? So cultural changes are also dynamic, and then uh, culture gives a range of allowable behavior pattern. And culture is diverse. Diverse means there is different uh, culture, uh, different global culture uh, that is called diverse, and also is Irish uh, identity. That is continuity and change, then variety and uh, unity. 
then secular outlook and uh, secular uh, means uh, that is uh, not connected with any religion then then universalism and then uh, spirit, uh, spiritual spiritual uh, spiritual means that believe on communication with the spirits of the dead right so materialism means which can understand one song only on the money that is the material man so uh, hence ancient india uh, the, this first notable uh, civilization in india around 2700 uh, before christ the north western part of the indian subcontinent the discovering a large area so that civilization uh, referred as uh, harappan civilization and this culture uh, associated with the harappan civilization uh, first known as urban culture in india so in ancient india they built first double story houses uh, of uh, brick that is uh, burn brick erin the kalla pun solvaanga each one of the, each one of which had a bathroom a kitchen and a well actually uh, for in ancient india as a agriculture was the main occupation of the harappans that's who are living in a rural area Uh, so what is vedic culture the vedic culture aryan settled on the banks of river the banks of river then indus and saraswati uh, in the river side of the the other side of the banks uh, river and they composed many hymns in honor of the gods and goddess uh, they worshiped uh, uh, hymns mean that is religious song actually you know uh, hymns means uh, the religious songs and uh, they were uh, compiled uh, with four vedas uh the, you know uh, rigveda then samaveda yajur and adharva veda so those are the four uh, kinds of uh, vedas uh, in vedic culture and uh, society and religion uh, the latter uh, vedic period uh, society was divided uh, into varnas varnas something uh, led to um, caste first uh, brahma and kshatriya and vaishya all right and then uh, Shuddha, you know what is uh, the Brahmana? Shatriya is Hindu caste in the, in the northern India, and Vaishya is for uh, the, the, they are making agriculture and uh, the main occupation is agriculture and cattle. And uh, Shuddha, you know, uh, this is, that is uh, the last care of uh, the Varnas, right? That is, uh, it's a lever. Uh, Levers uh, that examples for uh, uh, Shuddha. so material life and economy uh, the aryans were primarily pastoral and agricultural people you know what is pastoral keeping or uh, uh, grazing uh, the cattle that, that that they are called as uh, pastoral and the main you may they are making only uh, in the field agriculture uh, actually for example the the, the domesticated animals like cows or sheep goats and ducks the popular uh, religious reforms the, actually the cardas the eight fold path uh, comprises uh, so that is right understanding so how to how to understand uh, really and how to think right right thought how to speech uh, exactly that reaches the end of the society the right speech then right action then right uh, livelihood then right effort the right mindfulness and right concentration these are all the eight fold path of the popular uh, religious reforming you know uh, ashoka is a great representative representative of the apex of the indian culture so ashoka was a true humanist as so everything you know what is who is, who is ashoka his policies are oriented uh, towards the welfare of the people so that means the welfare of the mainly for the low poverty people of the for the for their improvement he, he was work he was work right so he asked the people to uh, go with the ahimsa So, yeah, so, so that's why is Ashoka is a great, is a great leader. So, art architecture that is Marian uh, beginning. Uh, the best preserved of all Ashoka edicts, you know, the edicts of invasion, invasions. Uh, that is, that is Laudya Nandaga Temple, is there? Is there? That is a temple the complex that is located in Bihar. Next slide, we can show uh, which, what, what is uh, Laudya Nandaga. Uh, that is 32 feet tall that is height of height is 32 feet and at the top uh, 50 ton seated lion is there right and stuff so it's very good it was admirable one we can we can show this uh, what is which one is uh, lion and the car uh, 
this is Lauri Anandaka, that is located by Viga. Uh, she is 32 feet, and line alone is 50 ton uh, weight. This is very, very admirable. Actually, the, we, we can uh, proud of the engineer who has built this one. Then about uh, what is Pallavas and Cholas, an account of ancient India uh, is incomplete without referring. There are two, two dynasties of South India, this Pallavas and Cholas. And the Cholas and Pallavas contribution towards to uh, mainly art, architecture and administration Right, and then uh, conquest. Conquest, uh, you know, what is conquest? It the success or uh, the control of place uh, that is called as conquest, right? So their contributions towards art, architecture, administration, and control of place like the military force, etc. So here uh, I am seeing the group of monuments at Maha, um, uh, that is, and Maha Bhairava is near to Chennai. Then Sun Temple, uh, that is in Odisha, Konarek, uh, that is Odisha. And then, uh, the week, then we can, uh, what is Christianity in India? The, so the Christianity church has two major divisions. So I, I hope all you know, the Roman Catholic Church and Protestant Church. The holy book of the Christian is Bible, you know, right? So the Bible contains two parts. One is, one is Old Testament and uh, second part is New Testament. Uh, this is ancient India, then middle level India uh, society, and then uh, aristocrat. Uh, you know, aristocrat is a member of highest social, social class, highest of a member. Yes. So I hope that now is visible, Jaitra, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. It's visible. Okay. So uh, the trade uh, by selling or uh, uh, the goods and uh, things, and then a religious, uh, religious condition, right? And then uh, rise of Islam and Sufism. Uh, there are the five fundamental principles. You know, uh, Tahid, so belief in believe in Allah and uh, Namaz, uh, Namaz uh, prayers five times a day. Then Rosa, so fasting in the month of Ramzan, right? So, you know, uh, Zakat, so giving of uh, alms. And then Hajj, uh, pilgrimage to Mecca, you know, what we were in this Mecca temple. So then Bhakti movement, uh, the Bhakti movement was long known in the South, right? Uh, Allah, so Allah know the idea of uh, the Bhakti uh, through hymns, already hymns know, you know, there's this religious song and the story that is the examples for this Guru Nanak, Ramanuja, Ramananda, Kabir, then Chaitanya, Samira so Bhai, and Namadeva, right? So development of folk art, uh, no, you know, folk art is usual uh, art type. There is uh, folk, uh, folk arts. So several occasions associated with the agricultural operations, for example, uh, tilling of soil, right? Then sowing of sapling, then picking of the cotton, right? Then pulling of the wheat, pulling the And many other uh, social functions provided opportunity for, uh, that is for singing and dancing. Here, these are all some of uh, dances actually. Uh, so Garba, Patina, uh, the Gujarat dance, right? So Kalbelia, uh, so 
it's also what kind of the dance and then uh, bangara and then gidda so gidda is a punjab dance then bambu uh, is also uh, that is a mizoram i think uh, bambu is a mizoram dance uh, kalbiliya is a rajasthan dance and uh, la lavani is i think the maharashtra maharashtra dance and so uh, some and innumerable other dance forms uh, came into existence i so just here listing a few uh, dance that is associated with the uh, singing and dancing Uh, and painting uh, some important works are uh, uh, zaframa and ramayana all right right that, that these are all some examples for painting the music the bangal emperor like you can you know akbar jahangir and shah jahan the patronize several musicians so you getting in south india uh, so in the, i am now i coming to topic languages actually uh, so in our system is over uh, in south india i think uh, we have now at present 22 different languages are present uh, existing so here i am using just four languages here in chandramandalam region you know the tamil, tamil is very popular and then in karnataka is kannada and then in andhra is telugu and in kerala is malayalam is uh, popular so all all the different languages are uh, different script right because 22 languages are presently uh, exist, existing so each each one is uh, having different script right then uh, india is the 18th century uh, about, about economy and society and culture you know uh, you know the relation between hindu and muslim this is first relation between hindu and muslim actually the friendly relations existing between the people of the two religions uh, that is uh, religious tolerance practiced that is hindu and muslim relation is very uh, already existing one very important one and uh, social and religious reformer uh, actually uh, the religious reformer is a man is a person who makes religious uh, a process better right that is the reformer is supposed to reformer actually so this other leader of the social reformer ramon rai right and then parthana uh, samajan and ramakrishna and then uh, any present narayana guru this is a leader uh, for reforming the uh, social religious one then struggle against caste system right so the three here i am listing three leader uh struggle against caste system and uh, against for the very low the people for the improvement of the uh, low, low poverty peoples right so arya samaj you know then bear ambedkar mahatma gandhi they are the great leader for against the caste system so press and the growth of modern india uh, languages and literature you know so we have started from ancient india then middle level then modern india that is the role of newspaper uh, consequently the newspaper played a major role the significant role in the dissemination of anti british feeling the dissemination is spreading to everywhere right uh, that is the role of the newspaper you know then veda uh, veda uh, namely already we have discussed right? i think uh, the 10 years back uh, the four vedas namely the rig veda the yazu veda and sama and uh, adra veda So each Veda uh, consists of uh, Brahmana, uh, Brahmanas, then Upanishad and uh, Aryan, Aryan, right? So here uh, I am going to see what is Rig Veda. So most of the hymns spoke of universally recognized higher value of life, right? But this higher values, the values were uh, truthfulness, right? So everyone to truthful to other, then honesty, uh, then dedication. We are creating a new work. We have to work with the dedication and sacrifice, and politeness and culture. These are all the main values of uh, most values of the Rig Veda. And you know, Azur uh, uh, that means sacrifice or worship. Here I am seeing uh, the Krishna.
then sama veda uh, sama means that is melody uh, melody or song so this uh, sama veda consists of uh, 16000 uh, rags and ragins of musical notes that is purvashika actually uh, it's also one text book what is available one book is available for sama veda uh, it consists of more than 60000 uh, ragas and uh, adrava it contains the treatment for 99 diseases right so already uh, one book is there so in each book you cure, you know how to how to cure uh, so, uh, what is the idea or what is the, what is the, what is the treatment for uh, cure the 19 diseases that is available in ayurveda there an upanishad upanishad Uh, the word uh, Upanishads is derived from uh, Upa, that is nearby, that is nearby. Nishat, that, that is called sit down, right? The word is the Upanishads, they are, are derived from the word Upa and Nishant. So Upa means it by nearby and Nishat, the word is sit down. That is called as, the word is called as uh, sitting down near. That is called the, the meaning of uh, Upanishad. then ramayana and the mahabharata you know and the mahabharata contains a famous book famous book that is bhagavad gita which contains uh, the essence of uh, wisdom and truly for universally gospel you know you know gospel is a good story actually that means gospel is a good story yeah. so bhagavad gita which contains a very good story uh, right see here i am listing that uh, i am listing here and ramayana and mahabharata book actually then tamil or uh, sangama literature you know uh, the famous thiruvalluvar who wrote the thirukural then eight anthology called uh, ittito koi that is yeah, one, one then twin epics of sir Ma'am, my screen is visible. Can you see that, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You hear me? You have some network failure. That's okay. Okay, ma'am. And then art, right? So now comes a part for uh, art. It's the discipline in painting. So here I am listing that that the, the, the some of the materials used in the painting, right? The principal colors used is the red, red archer, and then vivid red. that is sindura and yellow archer and the indigo that is blue right the lamp black and then chalk white and then uh, then green color here uh, some of the principal colors are used for painting so indian painting uh, you can see i uh, i am listing this as example can be seen uh Padamir Karnataka at the temples of Kanchipuram, and then uh, Jain caves of Sintra, Sitanavas, that is in Tamil Nadu, and then Kailasa and Jain cave at Elora, that is eighth and ninth century. I am, uh, you know, these are eighth and eighth century. These are all very good examples for uh, Indian painting. Jain caves, Sitanavas, and 
Kailasa Jainikyosar, Elora, Elora Temple. This is the famous uh, painting. So heart and middle level India, so that is called Indian painting. So initially, uh, the artists to use uh, began to use with vibrant color. This red and red, we are able to give the three dimensional effects to painting. The Mansur, uh, Bishandas, and Manohar were the most gifted painters of Jagangi time. So Jagangi is also you know. So Jagangi at the time, uh, Mansur, Bishandas, and Manohar were the most gifted painter, so Indian painters. Then uh, decorative art, uh, the designs are called Rangoli in the north side and uh, Alpena in Bengal, then uh, Yepon in Uttanshal, Utrancha, uh, Rangoli in Karnataka, Kualam, you know, in Tamil Nadu, and Mandana in Madhya Pradesh, this famous uh, art, uh, decorative art that is that are, that are used in, in uh, India. So, Midila painting, uh, what is Midila? There is Madhubani art is being used as a decorative gift item, actually. Uh, this gift item or this greeting card and has become very uh, a source of income for local women. You know, you know, you know already we discussed what is folk, right? So, low, it's low poverty people. Uh, so, they have used the to develop the gift item and greeting card. That, that painting is called as Midila painting. So Kalamkari painting. So Kalamkari dyes are obtained by the extracting color, uh, color from uh, different plant, uh, roots, leaves, along with the salt of iron. And then uh, like you like you can take uh, a tin, and then copper and aluminum, etc. Right, this is Kalamkari painting. That is extracted from the some uh, some element. You can iron, tin, and copper and aluminum. Some of the root that is plant roots are leaves are. Any salts of iron. Here, I, here I'm showing you this is the column kind of painting for your for your uh, view. So, Warley painting, uh, tree, birds, then men and women collaborate to create a composite whole in your Warley painting. So, here uh, this image you can show the example for uh, Warley painting. So I then have this Indian handicraft. You know, uh, Kashmir is famous for embroidery work. That is shawl, uh, then carpet, uh, so namdwa silk, and walnut wood furniture. That is Kashmir, Kashmir is a famous example for this uh, handcraft. I think this is example for uh, silk, namdwa silk. And uh, what is uh, music, uh, dance, and drama? Performing arts, arts, music, uh, dance, and drama. The Indian cl classical music was broadly based on two traditional, right? Was Hindustani classical, that is musical prevalent in North India, and then Carnatic music of South India, right? So you have you have uh, two tradition, two traditional. Uh, uh, now we can see. So folk music, uh, the music that represents the emotion of the masses. That is here I am showing uh, the folk music in India uh, with image. So here I am listing the well-known dances of modern India. Uh, then Bharatanatyam, Odissi, then Kuchipudi. I hope all you know that the, 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 the this well-known four dances in modern India. And then what is Rama? Uh, so Rama uh, is one is action, a uh, performing art. She has also been practiced since times times immemorial. You know uh, types of dramas. Uh, presently, various types of dramas are uh, developing. 
and you let's see here i am missing some of drama stage theater then radio theater then street play right then the core then mono drama there is one man show uh, musical theater and then short skit then one act one act play here i'm seeing few types of drama so various drums actually various drums of dra dramas are developed sorry uh, so i think if some network failure so sorry for it convenient I request the participants to stay connect with us. Shortly, the resource person will join. So I think that we are, now we are in the end of my presentation. So uh, drama already already we discussed and you have seen. Then here I have listed types of drama, right? So so thank you. Uh, already uh, I hope we have discussed what is Indian knowledge system and uh, what is language, what is art and culture. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank, you, sir for, yes, thank you, sir, uh, for your thank informative you. message. Thank you, participants. We'll meet again by tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another theme of NEP 2020. Uh, once again, uh, once again, madam, once again, I should thank to the management principal and you and you and, you and one passion listening. And I, 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 I sincerely thanks to all participants of the faculty. Once again, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, participants. Kindly fill the feedback form. I request the staff members as well as the students to fill the feedback form.